We have Guy Pierce. We have a dystopian city. And we have Travis Frimmel channeling his very inner creepy Johnny Depp. Hey Nathan Nice, welcome back to another video. My name is Nathan. Today we're going to be talking about Zone 414. It is out on Netflix right now. And it stars Guy Pierce and Travis Fimmel. Zone 414 is a city, it is a dystopian city uh, filled with humans that are robots. And the creator of Zone 414 happens to be Marlon Veidt, who plays, who's played by Travis Fimmel. And he hires a detective, David Carmichael, played by Guy Pierce, to find his lost daughter within so 414. David Carmichael decides to team up with another machine who uh, who has advanced AI technologies where it's, which it makes her closer to being human. Her name is Jane and they both tried to find out what happened to uh, the rich baron's daughter and unfortunately ends up in dire circumstances. This movie to me is but not a good movie, but not particularly a bad movie. It is a, it is a, in my opinion, a um, a knockoff to Blade Runner. But it is a very, very good knockoff. And I mean, I like the story. I like the dialogue. The dialogue was pretty great. I mean, there was no run-ons or anything like that. It was definitely a pretty. It's a pretty serious movie, but it doesn't take yourself too seriously. It is uh, very gritty and it is very rugged, uh, which is, I believe, is actually a perfect fit for uh, Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce has normally been playing those kind of characters lately, playing the you know the very rugged, gritty type of characters. And I'm a big fan of Guy Pierce. I try to see, I try to watch most of his movies that I can. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's not really a whole much, whole lot out there to watch, but I do try to watch him when I can. I'm a big fan of uh, Guy Pierce. I like his his attitude. I like his sense of humor and all that. He has a dry, he has a bit of a dry sense of humor, and I love that about him. And uh, Travis Fimmel, I'm kind of growing on him. He's a he's a pretty terrific actor. I've never saw him in Vikings, but I've seen him in other projects like uh, Raised by Wolves, and. Of course, this one, uh, War of Warcraft, and I, he's, I think he happens to be a terrific uh, actor. I mean, he does channel his inner uh, Johnny Depp, you know, with his mannerisms and his creepiness and all that. Man has to have prosthetics on him and make him look uh, twice his age, and very, very creepy, very, very creepy. Very, very creepy. <laughs> so, but he does a really, really good job. It is a very good dark uh, sci-fi detective detective thriller and there's n really not a whole lot of action in this movie it's more um, more detective noir searching for clues and all that kind of stuff it's uh, that kind of movie and it's uh, I, I happen to think in my for me it was very very good even though it's got terrible ratings but I, I totally enjoyed it I liked it I thought it was good I think you guys would like it too and I have to think that's uh, all I got for you guys. I, I do strongly recommend you go check out Zone 414 on Netflix. And that's all I got for you guys. That's all I got for this video. If you've seen the movie, please let me know. I'd like to know what you think of it. Uh, hit the like button down below. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Check out another video. And all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Be excellent to each other, party on dudes, and I will see you guys on the bounce.